Uh, Finest City Improv has 65 seats in it. So you come in, it's a nice intimate bar, and you can enjoy a drink, and then uh, it's cabaret style, so you can sit at a small table with your friends, the tables, we had a lot of fun making. The theater is open Thursdays through Sunday, four nights a week. Uh, Friday and Saturday are our main nights where our key house teams perform. So on Friday night, we have a show called The World According To. And it's my honor to introduce the cast of The World According To! So Dino, I've been asked to be part of this World According To, and I have no idea what to expect. Can you give me a little clue what's going to happen tonight? Well, basically what we like to do is invite someone from the San Diego community. So let's give it up for Beth! Beth! And just have them on stage and either tell anecdotes, stories. Oh, from the Bronx, yes. Yeah. We came out here because my dad saw a picture of people swimming in the ocean in December. Oh. And so he bought a van, a camper van, learned to drive, and two days later drove across country. And then we used that as inspiration to improvise and create scenes. Honey, I was just watching TV, and there's a place in the world right now where it is sunny. There are many places in the world where it is sunny, <laughs> honey. Outside, if you look outside our window, it is currently cloudy where we are. <laughs> That is true. You I want you to quit your job, pack up your things, because we're going where it's sunny. You shouldn't be nervous, because we hope that the person isn't trying to be funny. Uh, we prefer it if people are just being honest, and that's where we find the humor of things. In the stage is a blank canvas, and what you do is you get a suggestion from the audience. All right, talk about Godzilla. And what we do is we start to create scenes. So we basically write a play on the spot. What is going on in our backyard? I have you hired the entertainment for our four-year-old's birthday party, and there is a cast of mutants out there. <laughs> and we just have a ton of fun creating something spontaneous. So we start to just put things on that canvas, and by the end, we've created this great picture, and usually a lot of funniness comes out. <laughs> Most of the people who come in have never seen us do this stuff before, and they're like, you guys wrote that out. And we're like, no, it's all made up on stage. Stand-up is one person by themselves having a bit that they've practiced for five, ten years, who knows how long. And improv is just that that spark. You hear one word, you hear one suggestion, and you just go with it. So it's I feel like it's so much more limitless. You get to just go up and just play. You're a rusty toolkit, sir. When it's over, you're like, well, I spent exactly the amount of time doing it that I did preparing it, and so if it wasn't great, then I get to do it again next week. In real life, you sort of jump to say no at the first chance you get, uh, but in improv, the rule is to say yes all the time. So anything that shows up, you appreciate it and you say yes to it, but also have a bunch of people who are on stage with you who also say yes to everything that you put out there. And it's almost like the group that you're in becomes a family, and you guys are able to get into one group mind and create a show together. It's all about communication. It's communication between the people on stage. You were thinking that. I was thinking that. And then those people communicating with the audience. And when that, when those lines of communication work, it's really, really cool to watch. Oh, this is good. And there is this sort of code and communication in, in improv, like you tag someone out and take their place. So there is that kind of base communication. Let me tell you, my friend, this is a real 1957 oven. If you want to kill yourself like the housewives did. The room that we're in right now is the classroom. And I feel like if you were standing outside the window and just looking in, you might think that it's a cult. Because there are a lot of games and exercise where you really have to just let yourself be vulnerable and open. Here we teach them to support and trust each other, to say yes, to make bold choices. We teach you to be a little more fearless than maybe you have been because it's not about being witty or coming up with funny ideas. We actually teach you to try not to be funny, to be authentic, and to bring your life experiences to the table and offer those and see how it feels when someone just says yes to those. And so if you come down here, you're gonna find a community of people that are just gonna make life a little better. Thank you so much again. Great. Uh, we have more shows coming up.